This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 1-2, problem number 23. Six different numbers chosen from 1 to 9 are written on the faces of a cube, one number on each face. The sums of numbers on each pair of opposite faces are equal. Which number could be opposite the 5? A, 3, B, 5, C, 6, D, 7, or E, 9. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, we know that we ha are choosing six different numbers from one to nine and writing one number on each face such that the sums of the numbers on each pair of opposite faces are equal. So I've written the numbers 1 through 9 here, because those are the numbers we're choosing from. And I've written the 4, 5, and 8 in black because they already appear on the cube. So we have to choose from the blue numbers. Let's start by thinking about which number goes opposite the 8. And we can start over here on that side with 1. Let's say we choose 1. Then we have 8 plus 1, which is equal to 9. And again, we know that the sums of the numbers on each pair of opposite faces are equal. So if we choose the 1 to be opposite the 8, then we have a sum of 8 plus 1, 9. And we need to have that sum for each pair of opposite faces. So now let's think about let's say the 5. 5 plus the number opposite it must be equal to 9. Now we have to think 5 plus what number is equal to 9? Well 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. But we can see that we can't have the 4 be opposite the 5 because we've already placed the 4 over here, and we need to use 6 different numbers. So this does not work. We cannot have the number opposite the 8 be 1, because then we're using the 4 twice. We cannot reuse numbers more than one time. So this doesn't work. Now let's look at 2. If 8 is opposite the 2, then we have a sum of 8 plus 2, which is 10. Now let's think which number would be opposite the 5 in this, in this case. We have 5 plus the number opposite it must be equal to 10. We know that 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. But again, we run into a similar problem because we can't use the 5 twice. It can only appear on one of the faces of the cube. So this also does not work. Now let's look at 3. If we have the 3 opposite the 8, then we have a sum of 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. Now let's think what can go opposite the 5 in this case. We have 5 plus the number opposite it must be equal to 11. 5 plus what is equal to 11? Well, we know that 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So far, so good, because we have different numbers on each side of the cube. But let's look at what happens for 4. The number opposite the 4 plus 4 must be equal to 11. So 4 plus what is equal to 11? 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. So 7 must be opposite the 4. And this works. We have six different numbers. We're using 8, 3, 5, 6, 4, and 7. So we have six different numbers chosen from 1 to 9 as stated in the problem. And the sums of the numbers on each pair of opposite faces are equal. So we know that the number opposite the 8 must be 3 in order to meet all the rules stated in the problem. And we're looking for the number that's opposite the 5. So we already know that the number opposite the 5 
must be 6 so that we can get our sum of 11. And this is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.